Hi guys, this is Kelvin and you're watching Horn Traveller. Once again, I'm here at Marina Bay Cruise Center Singapore, which means I am going on another cruise. Yay! Join me as I set sail on a 4-day 3-night cruise on board the Royal Caribbean Spectrum of the Seas. If you like my video, do hit the like button and subscribe button. So now, let's set sail! We arrive at the cruise center at around 10.45. There is already a small line in queue preparing for check-in. As I have purchased the key package, we get to enjoy priority check-in, making the whole process a breeze. And soon after, we were already boarding the cruise. First thing we do as a key guest is to drop off our luggage at the drop-off station located at the Wonderland. Following which, we attended the mandatory safety briefing at our allocated master drill station. By right, there is an exclusive welcome lunch for key guests. However, it seems like beef is the main highlight of that meal, so we decided to give it a miss. Instead, we head over to Windjammer for our first meal on board. As the rooms will only be ready earliest at 1.30, we just hand around that 14 and that 15. Finally, at 1.30, our room is ready. This time round, we got two connecting rooms, and it is the best decisions we have made. Now, we got more space with two big sofa. By the way, one of the benefits of the key is that they will deliver your luggage straight into the room and not leave it outside. There are also welcome fruits for key guests. Next, you will find the usual tea bags, water kettle and a bottle of water for each guest in the room. On the right is a big mirror. Over here is a box of facial tissue and a hair dryer. There is a room service breakfast menu which we never use.
there are also lots and lots of storage space. Over here is the fridge, which is empty. Besides the North American Standard and European Standard power sockets, they also provide USB ports. There is a big TV, but sadly, there are not many channels and I cannot screen mirror my phone to the TV. Having two rooms means we get to sleep on two big beds. Once again, more storage spaces. There is one more power socket beside the bed. Now let's take a look at the balcony. It is quite large with two sittings but more importantly, I can enjoy the nice view in my own private space. Finally, let's check out the washroom. Though small, it is clean and equipped with whatever is needed like towers, So fast. Cups for rinsing. Toilet papers. Bar, I believe, is for putting your leg. hair body wash form and a shower head with decent water pressure After unpacking, we decided to head to the Whirlpool Spa at the Solarium One useful tip is that the Solarium is pretty empty on the first day of cruise I feel like being in a 5-star hotel as I immerse myself in the spa pool while enjoying view of the Singapore city skyline. Another useful tip is that there is a viewing platform from the solarium which allows you to enjoy panoramic view of the surrounding. Just when we went back to our rooms to freshen ourselves, we realised the cruise has begun to sail. Bye Singapore! After freshening up, we head to the main dining room for dinner.
the starters that I was most interested in was the Esker Gods, and I feel that it's definitely a must-have. The texture is a bit chewy, kind of like eating squid, and the taste of the dish comes mainly from the butter sauce, so yup, I highly recommend trying this dish if you have not done so. We went back to Windjammer for our desserts. The last activity of the day is watching The Effector, a production show at the Royal Theatre. It's a show where different heroes with different unique talents gather together to overcome their greatest nemesis, The Crash. The show is really awesome, and here is a sneak preview.
we have come to the end of the video. If you like my video, please hit the like button, share button and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Bye!